Hey everybody, the Bang is back. Welcome to part 3 of Let's Play Mario's Time Machine for the Super Nintendo. And of course, this is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, we're going to grab the third artifact, which Bowser, I believe, is going to use against the Toads. So Here, read this book that has no words on it. I dare ya. Ha ha ha. Anyways, this is Florence 1505. One of the most versatile geniuses in history, Leonardo da Vinci took his name from the village of... Look, well, not Egypt, that's for sure. Vinci, of course. Well, he was born on April 15. Yeah, I dare you to put 1915 there, even though he invented something in 1505. He was born in 1519. Um, 1455? No. Uh, was it 1452? Okay, there we go. He lived during a period of artistic and intellectual re reawakening called the Renaissance, of course. We all know that same when you're a renaissance man, means you're very old and then you're enjoying success again. Which follows the 1000 year slumber known as the Middle Ages. A talented child, Leonardo apprenticed as a painter in, I believe it was Florence, and later worked in Milan and Rome. He was employed by a series of wealthy assholes, I mean patrons. And I believe it's here and his interest extended far beyond painting. Leonardo was also a sculptor, porn star, I mean architect, engineer, musician, scientist, and inventor. A perfect example of a renaissance man. I think renaissance is the only word you can actually use twice in the game. His famous notebooks used backward handwriting for security purposes and were full of ideas that would not be realized for almost 500 years. I well, think back in that time he was actually se concerned about security in the gym, but now these days people are just willing to exchange their credit card numbers for virtual crops on Farmville and Facebook. Okay, where was I again? Oh yeah. His ske sketches included hang gliders, helicopters, parachutes, tanks, machine guns, submarines, and diving gear. Leonardo's... I believe it was painting of the Last Supper. Which, wait, 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 wait. No, I don't see it. Um, let's see. What's the word again? I don't see painting. What word? A oh, fresco, of course, of the Last Supper, and his portrait of Mona Lisa, also known as. La Giaconda, ranked among the most famous pictures ever painted. And we all know that's very true. You can never forget that smile. Okay, let's go to the random order again. Florence 1505. You know the drill. It's time to go surfing. Again. Where's the first mushroom? Up oh, there it is. There it went, but I got it. It's close. No! Damn invisible mines. I call shenanigans on that one. God, I hate when that happens. You lose all your mushrooms to something you couldn't even see. Can you imagine playing Super Mario Brothers and all the enemies were invisible? You would not be able to play that for very long. You'd be pissed off. You'd be jumping in every single direction possible. You wouldn't get very far. You'd be taking deaths for no reason. What? Oh, you gotta be shitting me. That's double shenanigans. Like, there was no way I could have seen that. Like, maybe if I had an actual Super Nintendo and could be able to record off of it, I might be able to do that, but I don't think I have this game anymore. I mean, I sold it away. I believe I was selling most of my stuff to get a Nintendo GameCube. I sold a lot of games. Trust me on that one. But it was worth it. I mean, that first game I got for the GameCube was Super Smash Bros. Melee. It was pretty fun until I realized you had to have a memory card. And it didn't come with one at the time. So unfortunately I went months without getting a memory card. And 
then I was able to play it and keep all the characters I unlocked. Well, with that in mind, that's in the past, so let's continue. Hi, I'm trying to return this notebook. Come here, little man, and marvel at the works of Michelangelo. I am the greatest sculptor of the Renaissance, if I do say so myself. And I do. What's the Renaissance? Wake up! For the last 1,000 years, Europe's been artistically and intellectually asleep. Our civilization is having a rebirth, a renaissance. So, who's the greatest artist around? You dare ask? There are none to compare with me. That is, well, maybe except Leonardo. But he wastes his time with inventions and science and engineering. Really? Leonardo sounds impressive. Bah! He's so preoccupied that it creates few works of art. But those few, enough of him. I created La Pieta. I created the giant David for Florence. Now I need to test a new type of fresco. I'd like to know some more. No, go away! I need to find some plaster. Fuck you then. Say, who's over in that art studio? Which one? Leonardo da Vinci's or Michelangelo Buonarroti's? Both here in Florence working on, among other things, a pair of paintings depicting the war of the city of Pisa. Tell me about this Leonardo da Vinci. He studied here in Florence as a boy, but he was born in the little village of Vinci. That's where he gets his name. Leonardo from Vinci. See? But everyone just calls him Leonardo. Hmm. And what about Michelangelo? He is the greatest scholar of the age, and only 30 years old. But he's just a bambino compared to Leonardo. In fact, Leonardo will turn 53 next week, on April 15th. Maybe he'd like, to, like this in the book for his birthday. Let's see it. These are very fine drawings, but I can't read the notes. Very strange. I believe it's all written backward. But I'm just an old fresco painter. My eyes aren't so good anymore. Fresco? What's a fresco? Frescoes? Ah, the most beautiful art. They are created by painting on wet plaster. When it dries, the painting becomes part of what it was painted on. Leonardo experiments with them frequently. What are Leonardo's frescoes like? His most famous is his Last Supper in Milan. He's one of the greatest paintings of all time. Cibella. Too good, really. What's too bad? Ah, it's a tragedy. Such a beautiful painting, but now it's flaking off the wall. That new plaster he was testing failed. But that's Leonardo for you, always experimenting. What else does he do? What doesn't he do? He's a magician, a, 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 a musician, an architect. And don't tell Michelangelo, he's a sculptor too. I always love to hear about Leonardo's new ideas. Have you seen any? Okay, that's all he can tell me apparently. So anyways, let's go over this side. Hi, what is this place? This is the old works shop of Verrocchio, the master artist. One day I hope to be a master like he was, but right now I'm just an apprentice. What does apprentice do? I work for free in the master's shop and learn the skills of an artist. It's a great opportunity for a young man. Leonardo da Vinci was an apprentice here. Look how far he's gone. Maybe you can help me. I have this book. I'm sorry, but I'm very busy. The master wants me to deliver this bucket of plaster to Michelangelo. If you would take it for me, I'd have more time to talk. Let's see. Why does Michelangelo need plaster? I hear he's going to paint a fresco on a chapel ceiling, just as Leonardo painted the Last Supper on a chapel wall. The old fresco painter no next door knows all about it. Do you know who owns this notebook? Let's see. The writing looks all backward. I'll bet whoever wrote this wanted to keep it a secret. I need a mirror to read it. Um, I believe Michelangelo, I believe he's working on the Sistine Chapel, apparently. Here's a bucket of plaster. Grazie! I've just been asked by Pope Julius II to paint an entire ceiling of frescoes in Rome's Sistine Chapel. Everyone knows I wish only to sculpt, but the Pope is a very important patron. What's a patron? A patron is someone with money who hires an artist to create a work of art. Without patrons, we'd all be starving. Do you know Lady Gioconda? Ah, Mona Lisa! Certo! What a charming smile. She was here this morning, but she forgot her mirror when she left. Did you return it to her, Grazie? A mirror, apparently. I want to talk to you. Grazie, but no Grazie. Okay, so apparently it's not you. Oh yeah, that painter wanted a mirror to read the, uh, book. Oh, now I can read your notebook. It's full of marvelous descriptions of flying machines, underwater boats, and mechanisms of war which I'd say are at least 500 years ahead of the time. Who could have created such a wonderful notebook? You know, I saw a drawing like this in here the other day, see? It's a picture of a flying machine. Please take it. 
his eyes. It was, it was, I can't remember. Perhaps I could see one more example of this artist's remarkable skill. I can remember who created these drawings. Okay, so why don't I talk to that guy who was reading? What's this? A flying machine? Fantastical! Leonardo knows everything! No wonder he's called a Renaissance man. Here, you may take this drawing of this geometrically ideal man. What's Leonardo working on now? He's now painting a beautiful portrait of the Lady Gioconda. What's her name again? Ah, uh, never mind. Michelangelo knows. And no, I won't be able to get more information, so let's bring this over. It's starting to come back to me! This is the work of a scientist, inventor, engineer, and master artist. Someone who frequently asks us to produce models of his drawings. I got it! Who? Who is it? Leonardo da Vinci! He must have misplaced his precious, precious notebooks. Signor Mario! These must be returned immediately. Leonardo cannot work without them. Alright, I better bring them to him, I guess. Excuse me, I'm lost. Do you have a minute? No, no, not no. My book of notes is finished and I can't concentrate on my painting of Lady Gioconda. Mr. Vinci, I found your notebooks. Oh, grazie, Mario. Now I can finish this portrait of Mona Lisa. I should have known I could count on a fellow Italian. Call me Leo. No offense, but shouldn't Mona Lisa be smiling? She is smiling, you see? A subtle, enigmatic smile. People will, will wonder what that smile means for centuries. And that's exactly what I want them to do, Mario, to behold my work and wonder. Well, to be honest, I can actually see the smile from here, even in a 16-bit game. Mario needs to get his eyes checked, but... I suppose he can suffice by going back to the museum and getting another artifact returned. Which he will do. Next time on Let's Play Mario's Time Machine, so take care of yourselves. Stay classy, YouTube fans. Alright, see ya.